morning everybody how's it going so as you can see behind me you know where i am this is my happy spot so i'm on a solo mission today i just you know what i need to get away from the city I need to get away from people for a little bit uh it just happens to me i just get i don't know i'm not a city guy and uh might as well come out to uh one of my favorite places in manitoba um we're gonna be heading into a new lake that i've never fished before and we're going after some bass that's definitely my target species today uh, might get into some pike might get into some uh walleye but bass is mainly what i'm after um so like i said it's a new lake i've kind of done some research on it uh so i kind of know the area i'm gonna be fishing i just got my little boat today with just my little trolling motor so i won't be going very far on the lake and if that is a bust, I'm going to be heading out to another lake out here that I have a, that my buddy Nico is going to be fishing at with another guy. Um, I was thinking about joining him, but really I just, sometimes you just need to, to have some, uh, some me time. So anyways, we'll get back in the truck here. We're going to head out to the lake and uh, we'll see you guys on the water. All right, guys. So just got onto my first fish of the day and I think it's my biggest bass ever. Um, I, had, I didn't have the, the camera set up, so, but this thing is a beast. And well, I made a, a, marabou, a marabou jig and that's what it hit on. Right in, this, right in the weeds. I'm gonna show you guys this fish. This is insane. <laughs> Look at that football. Anyways, let's see. Oh, we're just just shy of a master we are seven, 17 and three quarters so that's a great start to the day so nice big chunk so it is a very 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 smoky day today um there is a big fire burning just by beresford so i'm expecting to be in the smoke all day not the best situation and it's supposed to be really, really hot today. It's supposed to go up to like 35 degrees. But, uh, you know what? I'm just happy to be out. Fish seem to be biting. Just had another uh, pike follow there, which is kind of neat. Got to see it, but uh, didn't really commit. That's okay. There's tons of little perch I can see swimming around. But lots of bait fish for, for those. And yes, I'm after bass, but realistically, any any fish I catch, I'm pretty happy about. Especially if I get myself a nice big pike. Okay. There we go. On to fish. Feels pretty good. Don't know if it's a bass. Doesn't feel very bassy. Nope. Definitely think it's a pike. That's a nice pike. Fish on, on the fly rod. You 
feels like a good sized bass. Chunky fish on the fly. <sighs> Look at that beauty. Don't think it's a it's a master. Let's see. We've got sixteen and three quarters. It's not a master. Nice fish on the fly. So, so that's another species on our checklist. All right, so we get to knock off small mouth bass off the fish species on the fly. Unfortunately, we did not get a, that master angler. We got close. Um, so hopefully next time. All right, and while I have you guys here, might as well do the the giveaway draw as well. So. I got everybody's name here in my hat, so you can see. I got all the pieces of paper in there. Um, now this is for the subscribers that commented on my giveaway video. And it's for um, that little blower. So, or about um, bellows. So, shake it up real good here. So, I have... Anthony Caruso, you are the winner. So I know who you are, so I'm going to contact you. Obviously, you're probably going to be watching this video, so you'll know. But uh, yeah, I'll get, get it sent out to you. And I know that you're definitely going to use it. So pretty excited. Uh, for anybody that's wondering, Anthony is probably one of my youngest fans. Uh, so pretty excited to, to see it go into his hands. And hopefully it spurs a future bushcrafter anyways let's get back to the fishing right now all I'm using is a nice little clouser um, saw some bubbling up on top of the water over there so I just cast it into there and BAM hit me hard we've got a sawtooth in the water gone nice boat, <laughs> all right so i uh i left my first first lake because uh i knew nico was oh, wait, out I was out here so i came and uh met up with him so i know you guys have met nico before so he was out here this morning with his buddy uh and they were just straight up fly fishing this morning so i'll put the the link to his video down in the description and then it's funny as i pull up here there's another boat that in the water, I'm like, man, that looks like Big John Fever. And hey, look who it is! Hey, everybody, it's Big John Fever. I was fishing uh, Shoe Lake all morning. Um, just got to the dock, and I see you guys are heading out. So I know you guys don't know who John is yet, but I know I've talked about this poker derby that uh, we're we're all part. All of us are actually <laughs> all part of, and it's kind of funny we're all here at the same, <laughs> the same time. Day. It's and uh, like I said, I'll put the link to his video in there as well. And again. Like Nico just did, you know, we, we just thank John because he's the one who was the mastermind by, <laughs> behind the whole poker derby and it was definitely a hell of a fun time and I know I feel pretty good with my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess we'll get back out on the water. Um, I know this lake doesn't have big fish, but it has numbers, so hopefully we'll get a couple of eaters to bring home.
third fish at this new lake and you can see they're not they're way smaller than that other lake they get they definitely get bigger than this but i'm here for quantity not quality at this point That's a nice walleye guys, that's a nice walleye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. It felt like a walleye bite, not like a bass bite, that's for sure. That's a beauty. Definitely keeping that one. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty walleye. So, oh yeah. 19 inch walleye, guys. That's a beauty. That's a good eater. That's a decent bass. Uh, tank but that's nice that's a nice eater right there so i'm just gonna narrate this scene um seeing as i had uh some audio issues uh just with the wind and stuff and i don't think i had my microphone plugged in properly this this section of the video is really really choppy so anyways i'm casting into this weed line that um i fish at this lake quite often and as i'm reeling back in look down in the water and there's actually a really nice pike that's following my lure so all of a sudden just hammers it right at the boat and you know there's just something always so darn exciting when you can actually visually see the fish striking your lure so anyways I'm gonna be fighting this pike for a couple minutes here um, like I said, I just want to show, share this, this clip with you guys. Normally I would just cut this clip right out, but like I said, it was, it was a decent sized pike. Nothing, uh, too, too crazy, but, um, they always put up a pretty good fight. So, pike are definitely one of my favorite fish to catch. Pike and bass are really just, just up there, you know? It's, they're just such fun fish to catch and also very delicious. Um, I actually didn't get a measurement on this one. But I'm thinking it's close to that 25, 26 that I caught earlier. Oh, 17. A nice, a nice eater walleye. That's hilarious. Look. 
That's hilarious. I came out with bass fishing and I keep catching walleye. It's a nice wally. Well, interesting turn of events. As I'm making my way back in my, uh, my big battery is uh, almost dead. And of course, the wind is pushing me right into shore. I don't have very far to go, so I had a bit of an idea. So my, uh, I haven't actually used my fish finder all day uh, for two reasons. One, this lake I know really, really well. And the other lake, I was really just focusing on this one shallow bay for bass. So I have a uh, fully charged 12 volt uh, like little battery for, um, for my uh, fish finder. And uh, yeah, so anyways, <laughs> show you guys. Rig, rigged her up so hopefully it's enough juice to get me back in because i don't have really all that far to go from here um so even if i had to paddle it wouldn't be the end of the world the only uh downfall would be this the, like the, the direction the wind was go is going 15 minutes ago the stupid wind was on my back and then all of a sudden it shifted and sending me into shore so that yeah, way she goes Anyways, I'm almost there. It seems that Nico uh, came came out with a little inflatable boat for just like 10 minutes and he realized uh, it was way too hard to uh, paddle. So I thought they were gonna go back to get their uh, float tubes, but I think they just went home. But anyways, we'll uh, talk again on shore. Well guys, I'm all loaded up and ready to go home. The wind really picked up, but I'm exhausted. It's almost six o'clock now, uh, and I've been fishing since nine. I uh, brought four fish home, three walleye and one uh, little smallmouth bass. So yeah, today was a pretty good day. You know, I've caught a lot of fish, a lot of different species, which is pretty awesome. Um, also got to knock off a bass off the list from for uh, the fly rod. Honestly, I didn't even use my fly rod a whole lot today. Um, I just got a new spinning rod and I, honestly it's night and day different compared to what I used to have and it was just so much fun tossing that spinning rod around. Um, it was really nice running into Nico and uh, and John. It's funny you could be three hours away from the city and uh, still run into people that you know. Uh, I think Nico pieced off pretty early, right after lunch there so. But anyways, I'm gonna head back to the city. Get a little R&R, &R. I'm pretty exhausted. And uh, thanks for joining me on that one, guys. And uh, if you're new to this channel, check out my other content. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're liking what you see. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.